and I can see there's a there's a good feeling amongst the squad and a, a real steely focus on the on the job that's that's at, that's ahead of us today, boys. Obviously, we've got a couple of few deb debutants as well. I mean, it's really important that we come here with a really clear focus on on your individual role. Believe in yourself. Believe in your role. That, believe in your part that you're going to play in. Believe in process. We need to do everything we can as a team to get this result today. Tonight's going to be a lot about just attitude. We've had a good week of training. We need to um, make sure that we're all individually switched on and we're prepared to get our job done. Everyone, get, get yourselves right. Let's go. <laughs> You have had two wins this year, both at home at Churchill Park. What's it like, you know, with the players being able to play in front of their family and, you know, in Fiji around the community? Yeah, it's, it's a big lift for the boys. Um, obviously, for the last two years with, with COVID, we had to relocate the boys for 10 months at a time. And um, the part where they get to play in front of their friends and family just didn't happen. So, um, you know, it's been good being based back in back in Latoka now. It's a good sense of community uh, yeah. back there. It does lift them. Um, that's where our best performance have been. One thing I did notice tonight was the youth in your team. The average age of our squad is 20.5. Um, oh, really? Yeah, so at um, start of last year, we decided to go an under-23s model. Yeah. Um, purely because we are a development club, and with us trying to get players into, um, into NRL clubs, yeah, it's, it's great just go, going young. They're so willing and wanting to learn, and, and they're so coachable too. Is there pathways for young Fijian footballers to make their way to the Silk, silk Tails. You know, we've, we've, we've just finished watching the secondary schools competition wrap up last week. Yeah. We'll recruit 20, 20 kids into our EDP, which is our lead uh, development pathways program. Out of that 80 players, I'll, I'll pick the best 30 for a rookie camp. And from that, I'll, I'll get the best 15 or 20 and invite them for our extended squad for our, for our pre-season. Before Silk Tiles started in 2020, there, there just wasn't a pathway for, for kids. You, you had to be really lucky and, and that a scout would pick you up at a, a school boys comp. It really puts them in good stead come, come the end of the year for that rookie camp. What do you look for in a player at Fiji, you know, the young men or the young boys coming through? We, we do background checks on a lot of, the, a lot of the players that we bring into the club to make sure that we're bringing in uh, right kids and the, we've got the right motivations. When you're, when you're recruiting that young, you're just looking for big, strong, athletic, fast, fast uh, you know, players, and there's, there's plenty of it in Fiji. The, the challenge is about identifying them um, you know, early and young and getting them to our program because um, having our Silk Tails club in Fiji is, is just another option for the kids back at home. What players do you see could potentially crack the NRL? Probably the guys that have sort of put themselves in the best position to, to move beyond this program with, with an NRL club is probably uh, Sonny uh, Wangani Saravi, uh, Melina Sao, and um, Vuata Karawa Level, who after his, he had his first year last year with us and end up signing a, a top 30 contract with, with the Roosters. With um, the Fijian culture, is it important as a coach to make sure that you still instilled you know, those values in your rugby league team? Yeah, yeah, massively, man. All our staff are from Fiji. Like myself, I was raised in Australia, but I've got Fiji background. Um, that's really important. Uh, look, we've got a full-time pastor that's, that's part of our staff. Um, so, um, you know, that, the welfare part's really important. Focusing around culture and faith and all that part and staying humble, it's, um, it, it, but it's in, our, it's in our genes, it's, it's in our blood anyway, so it's, it's not really, you don't really have to push that part, but, yeah. it's, uh, but it's important to, you know, to recognise and respect that. One thing I loved after their game when one of the players there, they said, please forgive us if there was any bad language or any bad blood. Um, take this time to ask for forgiveness. If the uh, boy said anything or did anything during the game, please ask for forgiveness. Why not? What uh, happens on the field, stay on the field. It just put a smile to my face, you know, knowing that that's the Fijian culture, that's part of your values. It's a really cool moment to see and one of the experience too. So. Yeah.